Oh yeah. Oh, it's hot out here today. But that's okay, because I still got plenty of things that need done to the cool. So that's what we're gonna do today. Work on getting some of the uh, parts painted up, put together, and some of the engine bay straightened up before I get the parts back from powder coating. That way, we can start reassembling once all that comes in. So, I've gotten some paint products from good old Home Depot, and hopefully, I think this is going to do what I need to do to get uh, the intake lid to look the way I want it. I was originally gonna have this powder coat the same color as the uh, covers, uh, valve covers or cam covers, but I decided to not do it mainly because the cost to do this piece would have, you know, raised my bill up a lot and I just need to be a little bit more conservative at the moment. So I decided to paint this myself. Um, with that said, I then thought maybe I would paint it a copper color to kind of come close to them, but I don't think I'll get the finish to match the way I want it. So then I'm like, all right, I'll just do black. Can't go wrong with gloss black. And then I was like, well, you know what? Gloss black is probably gonna look boring and um, I know I can do better than that. So I think what I've decided to do for this is I got some of the uh, Rust-Oleum hammered finish paint, uh, which has a lot of the same color that's gonna be in the, in the covers. So it's not gonna be exactly the same, but it will complement it. I think it will go very well with the shade of like brass, bronze, gold color that I got on uh, the covers. I think it'll do a really good job of just accenting that and just uh, have a little bit of something different. And I think the hammered finish will also do well because it's a very similar finish already on the casted part of the manifold, how these are. So I think this will work just fine. So we're gonna get this prepped and ready for paint throw some paint on it and see how it looks. All right, so first step, obviously, before we paint, is we want to clean the surface. So, that's what I'm doing. Got my good old Chemical Guys detailing brushes here and a Chemical Guys Nonsense Spray uh, to help clean off some of this grease and dirt and grime before we start painting, so. Up, see what's gonna look like. All right, so that's gonna be like one coat. I'm probably gonna do two coats, to see how it turns out. But let that sit and dry a second. Come back to it. Looks pretty good. Uh, so that's pretty much, I think it's how I'm gonna leave it. Put a final coat of clear on it. I think that's enough to keep it nice. And yeah, that actually turned out pretty good. I'm not sure how well that's gonna look once everything's together, but the color itself is actually kind of nice. So once it dries, uh, I'll get a better look at it and peel off some of that tape. But that's one part done now. While that's doing that, there's something else I have to do. So while most of this is open and easy to get to, a lot of this old factory loom has just become brittle and broken apart. So all this is gonna get replaced. I have loom sitting inside. So I'm gonna re-loom all of this here and all this here, basically the uh, injector harnesses here. And yeah, most of the other stuff isn't too bad off. Probably just need a little bit cleaning up here and there. But other than that, I think we'll be all right. So I got a little bit of work done here. And uh, here, let's do this. Before, nasty, cruddy, just old, deteriorating plastic and crap. And then after, nice new loom, everything retaped up and sealed. It looks nice, lot, lot nicer. 
So I still have to do this side. Um, and then there's a couple other things I need to do like here. I need to redo and actually I just kind of want to like find the, I guess you really can't find a new home for that, can you? I uh, just hate all this stuff being here. So it's, it's annoying, it looks horrible. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it's definitely an improvement over what it was, but it still isn't, still isn't as nice as I would like it to be. So a lot more work yet to be done. But on a side note, the intake manifold should be dry enough to bring it back in. Let's see here. Oh yeah. That looks pretty good, I'd say so myself. Not too bad. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I think that'll look all right. Actually, I'm curious to know, because I left this whole top piece covered, because I'm gonna finish this differently than the rest of the intake. I'm gonna clean all of this up to give it a nice brushed finish. That's gonna look nice. That's gonna look real nice. So yeah, that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. So that's one less thing that's gotta be done before I get the uh, cam covers, valve covers, uh, whatever covers <laughs> back. And yeah, so. Also, what I might do is get some paint and just do what I can and try to touch up some of this. This has been scratched up and stuff over the years and clean this side up as best as I can. Why not, right? So that's a good thing. Still need to fix the broken bolts on the manifold. I think I've decided that I will change out the injectors for the new injectors I have. That way I can run or start tuning for uh, E85. I think just for basic stuff, it should be fine. If not, new injectors can't hurt, uh, even though they flow a lot more, um, they should still be a good upgrade. Because I think even these stock ones, you know, once you start getting up in the RPM, I think it really could use more fuel and uh, they seem to tap out pretty much at this power level. Um, especially when you get up into the higher RPM. So the next video, the loom and the wiring should be done. And I think what I'll work on next is uh, fixing the manifold and let's see, probably doing some of the painting and I'll just touch up stuff in the next video. And then we'll be just even be one more step closer. And then by then I should have the new covers back. Well, the not new, the old covers powder coated back. Uh, and then we can start reassembling everything. So yeah, but it's a short one today. Just an update here on the progress and working on the Cobra, getting a couple things done. So it will be it for this video. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. And if you want to see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Keep a lookout for the next video.